Hello, once again, this is Randy Heisler, Managing Principal at Lifecycle Engineering. And today, we're going to talk about using an A3 to achieve reliability excellence. For those of you who didn't see my last video about an A3, we'll start with just a little bit of getting the rest of you up to speed. An A3 is something that was created by Toyota as a problem-solving tool that anyone on the plant floor could use to solve a problem. It's very simple. It's a box, essentially four quadrants, where if we've got a problem, we can identify what's the current state. What's the target state? What do I want to achieve? What type of actions might I need to take? And why am I doing it? What is the business case? A very simple approach to solving problems. And like I said, today we're going to talk about how to use the A3 to achieve reliability excellence. As a consultant for Lifecycle, I've had the opportunity to be in literally hundreds of plants around the world. And so often when plants are reactive, they just don't know how to be proactive. A typical scenario is that they're not meeting production targets. They can't make enough of whatever the widgets are they're trying to make. And with that, costs are high. They're trying to figure out a way to reduce those costs and be productive. Oftentimes, maintenance and operations are in conflict. Many times it's the I operate, you fix environment, and which must change. The workforce is affected and are often, often have low morale because they're looking to their leadership to change things. So how would we fix it? What could help us achieve reliability excellence? Let's talk about how we can use an A3 and a three-wave approach to achieve reliability excellence. The first wave is about education, and I'll get in, into greater depth about that in a minute. The second wave is about assessing, and the third wave is about taking the action to close those gaps. First, we need to determine what does the future state look like? Can we, you know, how can we understand best practices around reliability? And also identify what's in it for me. And understand the change and understand how it affects me. And one way to do that through the education is creating awareness and desire. And we call that wave one. Wave two is about determining the current state. And the way to do that is by performing an assessment, a reliability excellence assessment. From that, we can create an action plan on what actions need to be taken. We can develop a business case. We can identify measures so that we know if we're making progress or not. And throughout that assessment process, reinforce those best practices that we learned during wave one education. Wave three, is simply taking what we've learned, taking from the current state, and coming up with that plan that closes the gaps, manage the change, reassess regularly, and achieve those best practices, and achieve the business case that we put in front of management. Ultimately, track those metrics, track performance, and sustain the gains. To summarize, I hope what you've learned today is how a three-wave process in conjunction with A3 thinking can achieve reliability excellence. For more information on achieving reliability excellence, go to our website at lce.com.